Good morning and welcome to the first edition of Church News for 2010. We've got lots happening in the life of the church, so let's check it out. If you are new to History Makers Church, then we would love to meet you. So make sure after the service that you make your way to our new person's lounge that is located in our cafe. And if you're not sure where to go, you can ask somebody who's wearing a History Makers lanyard. HMC recently sent a team to Kolhapur, India to meet our 24 HIV affected orphans and our local contact pastor Binu Zampi. The following clip shows Binu talking about a child's life and how they came to be in our care. When he uses the word disease, it's referring to HIV and when he talks about parents expiring, it means that they've passed away. So let's take a look. This is Prem here with us and he's about five years old right now. He's been with us for about two years right now and he comes uh, from a family where he's got another sister who doesn't have the disease and his father was a goldsmith and he was fairly wealthy and uh, when his father got the disease he didn't tell this to anybody not even to his own wife so that's probably how she got the disease and it was only when he died that they found out that he had AIDS and then his mother also uh, because she also had the, uh, got it from her husband she also began to become very weak and at that point where she could not look after them anymore, you know, her, her, his mother's mother took him out and brought him to our home. But his mother never knew where he was. Anyway, one day when Pastor Anand was visiting, visiting one of the hospitals, he saw a, 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 a young lady, you know, lying on her deathbed. So he just went out to her and started talking to her and soon they found out that it was his mother, it was Prime's mother. And then to cut the long story short, she was very worried about her son because she said, I have a son, but I don't know where he, he lives because my mother took him out from me and she put him in an orphanage somewhere, but I don't know where he is. So Pastor Anand met her on her deathbed and told her that your son is with us and we are looking after him. So the very next day, Pastor Anand was able to take Prem and show him to his mother. And you wouldn't believe, two days later she died. And she died with the assurance that Prem is in a good place and that people are taking care of him. So he's a great person to have uh, in the house of hope and we all love him so much. Praise. HMC hold a prayer and worship night every Wednesday night here at History Makers Auditorium, 7 to 8 p.m. Make sure you come along and don't miss out. If you have a prayer request, then we would love to pray with you. So after the service, head out to the information desk, fill out a form and pop it in the communications box today. Our church leaders will pray over your requests every Wednesday night service and Sunday morning service. We have a great parents room here at HMC that's located through the red door in our cafe area. Parents are welcome to bring their unsettled children into this room. Breastfeeding rooms are available for mothers and change tables are also available for use. There's lots of toys to keep your child entertained while you sit back and watch a live feed and listen to the sermon. Come on! For Kids Church we have a holiday program. If you have kids you need to sign them in at the kids desk. They need a name tag and then they can head on down. There's going to be lots of activities and games, so make sure you come along. Can't wait to see you there! Enrolments are now being taken for History Makers College 2010. Certificate 4 and diplomas are now available for you to undertake. For more information, check out the website at www.hmcollegebendigo.com. History Makers Youth, start saving because we're off to Planet Shakers Conference in April. You are so important to God that He wants you to have a personal revelation of who He is and what He is able to do. This week will impact your life with some of the best ministries in the world. Stay posted for more information. That was another great edition of your church news. We hope that you're having a great time these holidays and we look forward to seeing you next week.